Alright, as you guys probably already know, I have three new briar horses. Um, but what you can't see in the pictures are the factory flaws that they came with, just like almost every other briar horse. So I guess I'm going to go through those with you, and um, I guess I'll, I'll be discussing the molds and everything else that goes with it. So we'll start here with Shasta Moon. Let me undo this. But, um,. Like I said, they all have factory flaws. But like Shasta Moon, I really want wanted to show her um, at Briar Fun Days and all that. But um, I can't because she's alright. She looks good. And you're probably wondering, well, what's wrong with her? Well, if you look on this side, she has this little... Wait for my camera to focus if it will. Maybe maybe not, but she's got a little scratch right there that you can't, there you can see it now in the box. Well, that's just beautiful, right? That's not all. She also came, can't, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right around here, there's a, see if we can put it in the light. Yeah, there's wrinkles. It's wrinkled. Factory flaw. That, P, it, it, it I'm kind of PO'd at that. She's got it back here too. But I was really looking forward to showing her and I can't do that now. So, I guess she'll just be a barn warmer. But, um, shh. But I really like her nose. She's got this kind of Roman complex to her nose right there. I really like that about her. So, that's Shasta Moon and her little flaws. And But I really I really like the mold. I really like um, the Indian pony look about her. So, I like, I love her. She's I love her mold. She's really pretty. Oh my, I gotta get this. Sorry if I... I was really looking forward to showing her, but it is what it is. The next we have Right on Q, otherwise known as Ella, and her full flame. There he is. She. And I guess I'll go through the full first. This is Flame. And I really like his coloring, her coloring, I guess you could say. It's a mare. But, um, he looks like a colt. She looks like a colt. Um, I don't, I'm not really too fond of the mold because you can't really do anything with it. You could make a video with this horse in it. If you watch my t video t making tutorials, any horse will work in a video, but I'm not really good at following my own advice sometimes. I probably, I might use him in a video. I don't know if I'm going to be making any new Briar series because as you can see, I started Wind Talker, but I don't finish them, and that's the problem. I, I did episode two, and it was too long, and that kind of discouraged me from making any more of the videos for Wind Talker. But um, anyways, back to this. He has no real flaws, except he's got this little chip right there that he came with. And an extra glob of paint by that. I don't understand that, but other than that, he's in pretty good condition. These are the color crazy molds of the set, one of the sets. This is right on cue, or Ella, as we like to call her. And uh, she's in really good condition. Not much in the way of scratches. And she's got a black dot right there. I don't know if that's supposed to be there or not. If not, it's a factory flaw. And she's got a little bit of scratches on her nose here and there. Got another factory flaw. And on the on her feet right here. I don't know if you can see them, if it'll focus in or not. But um, on the bottom, that's just from her being on the rocks. When I made that stop motion, that really kind of upset me. But she has these two scratches on her feet from her full rubbing on her foot when she was in the box. But other than that, she's just got a little bit of hoof rubs. And I was going to show her too, but so well, I guess I can't now, huh? So that's Ella, or right on Q, R I G H T O N Q. So these are my new Briar models. I really like I like this mold, but what really I was going to put her back. See that? You thought well, you're done. But what I don't really like is I don't. I don't know if the tail, if this horse was any other color, like say a buckskin or a bay and they had a dark tail, if the underneath of it would get rubbed out from standing on it over time. I don't know. I don't have Madison Avenue. This is my first horse in this mold. It's my first horse in her mold. So I don't know much about the rubbings that they could uh, potentially get from that. But um, I like her better than the Huckleberry Bay mold over there because he needs a stand and she does not. But then again, she's a national show horse and he's an Arabian, so his tail would probably be like whoop 
and it would probably not extend that long because they have extensions when they show the National Show Horses. But um, that's that. And I don't really like how when you look at her on this side, I don't like the way her head looks. She looks like a Barbie horse. I just, I don't like that. I like her on the other way, but it's alright. She looks like a dinosaur or a Barbie horse, I guess. But I love her dapples. Oh my gosh, her dapples are gorgeous. They're not much for gray horses, but I like her. I like her little chestnuts, too. But, um, that's Ella. Not to be mistaken with Bella. I know that there's a Bella mold like this on here on YouTube somewhere. So, I didn't copy, I didn't they have any attention, she just looks like an Ella to me. Not a Bella, but an Ella. I would never name a horse Bella because of the Twilight series, and I do not have any affiliation with the Twilight anything. Don't know if you could tell or not, but I don't really... doesn't suit my fancy vampires and whatnot. So, those are them, and like I said, I like the molds, but... I don't like the flaws that Briar gives them sometimes to make me not be able to show who I wanted to show. So, um, I guess that's it for now.